Hello and welcome to Retro Bikes Dublin. Before we start, we just have to say this is a once in a lifetime motorcycle we have in. Probably never get another one like this in it in again of a Kawasaki KLR 650. So just done over a thousand miles from new. It's a 2003 model. It's originally from America. So no rust at all around the bike. Completely original, never been messed with in really, really nice condition. Original toolkit, everything there in the bike. Can't fault it at all. So. Uh, start from the front front tire is perfect as you can see if it focus for me here we are from mudguard then as well as in really really good condition from plastics front headlamp and indicators are original everything working on the bike all this very clear up the top in the windshield left and right hand side um, protectors for your hand right hand side of the bike then you have some very minor scuff up on the top right hand side of the Headlamp being really fussy here because there's not much to point out. Indicators, original gaiters, all there and not ripped or anything like that or any sort of damage in them at all. Again, front mud guard. Spokes are in really, really nice condition as well as the actual alloy itself. Bash plate again is usually a good sign of how many kilometers a bike has done. So I'm actually gonna get underneath it here and show you that there's literally not a single dent or nick in that bash plate. Right hand side of the bike then, exhaust and engine area are really, really good condition. Just showing some size uh, signs of aging, you know, which you just get on metals anyway when they when they age over uh, what would be uh, 17 years now, what this uh, bike would be. And as you can see, all really good here. Pillion pegs here as well and present. Everything is in really immaculate condition. Brake pedal on the right. Up onto the tank and plastics area, some very minor little things here. Tank then is in, and the stickers itself are in immaculate condition. Really can't get any better than that. Kawasaki original seat, no rips, tears, or any sort of, doesn't even look like it's been sat in. Up over the top then, tank is in mint condition. Really, really is. Up over the top then, clear plastics, as you can see that uh, 1,934 miles on it only. Handlebars are in lovely condition. And the main thing you'll feel when you get onto the bike is the kind of everything as if it's brand new. Everything really feels tactile in there. All the text for the gauges on the left hand, right hand side have no signs of any fading or anything like that. Choke cable, every, all, all there. Original Kawasaki key, as basic as they are, still original. Up over, you can see inside then as well. No signs of any sort of dirt or rocks or anything coming up there messing with anything original cable ties from factory holding in the electrics onto the rear then right hand side minor little mark here 650 decals all really good condition exhaust no signs of rust at all the whole way through it into the header rear tires in very good condition as well rear disc here is in great condition as you can see Another great indicator of a bike's mileage uh, less than, uh, than just the speedo is the score, scoring on the um, disc itself. And this is very, very little, very minor and completely smooth. 2003 bike at the rear then, some minor scuff here. Being extremely fussy, like I said, again, light and indicators original. Toolkit is in there, it's unpresent. Left-hand side of the bike then, you got uh, kind of a helmet lock here. Reflectors on the left minor little scraping again and a tear in the plat and the decal here on the left hand side really really good original inside uh, battery box and everything is there chain guard is present as well main stand and a side stand on the bike too nice bash plate there all the engine area all really clean left hand side of the klr tank then really beautiful condition some minor mark in the decals there left hand side plastic there in the front of the tank all there present but even if you look at the screws all the tops of the screws are in excellent condition no rusting on the tops of what any of these kind of screws here as you can see as well all been kept indoors all the screws and everything in really nice condition amazing really so i did a really in detailed look at the bike on a visual uh, aspect but really stunning bike and we'll move on now to the ride along video so we're on the KLR 650, stunning only uh, 1,959 miles on the clock. So uh, 
one of a kind American import all original never been messed with fettled or anything like that so we'll just show you first how to uh, start the bike make sure the petrol is on the on position where you have the arrow here pointing down you then want to obviously turn on the ignition put your leg over the first thing you'll notice actually before I do the ignition and all that is the bike is quite a tall bike I'm uh, 188 centimeters and so my may, may vary if you're uh, shorter I mean I can get both feet flat to the floor here so anyway we'll start with the on choke is on your left hand side just let it warm up really really lovely bike I mean w one of a kind in Ireland anyway there we are really really lovely straight into first gear you'll notice on this bike when you uh, if you come to ride it at all well obviously you're not gonna be riding it if you do purchase the bike it feels absolutely brand new the bike feels as if it's just rolled off the production line everything all the tactile buttons clutch you know super easy to to uh, get at these lower speeds there's no clunking or oh, the feed from the carburetor obviously is just super smooth everything is really really nice and like i said everything just feels absolutely brand new anyway we're going to go up and around here Head oh yeah, no cancelling, it's just left and right here. And we turn left here again, don't knock down this cat hopefully. But really special bike, only 1900 miles on the clock. Plenty of power in the bike, uh, as you expect from a big single like this bike. Is a dying breed and a dying, a one that is completely died out. XR650 I think was one of the kind of last ones, even this last ones that were still being produced up till 2018 I believe. And now they're no longer being produced. So these are the last of a dying breed, you won't see them again, emissions won't let them. The new emissions rules like for the Euro 7 emissions rules for, for motorcycles just won't allow these type of bikes to be produced as they just don't meet the kind of choking that needs to be done to bikes nowadays to uh, get them greener and greener. Which is all good and well for the environment, I mean I'm not saying anything against it but I'm just saying that this is, you're not really going to see these big singles existing any longer so they really are fantastic tools for everything. I think a lot of people say they're not uh, protecting particularly brilliant as any one thing but they're they're good at everything off-road on road you know everyday use uh, long trips you know motorway use everything viable on these things and that's why you see a lot of them being taken around the world on uh, trips I mean everyone's looking at the bike um, but you see them being taken on trips all around the whole world any sort of conditions desert conditions snowing sand all that kind of stuff dirt everything these bikes are capable of they're really rock solid bikes if they're kept well this one i presume will probably be going to you know someone who's going to do very very small mileage on the bike per year or else uh, a collector of some sort uh, because it's just so unusual to see a bike like this in this kind of condition and also with the low mileage that the bike has so we're not really going to do too much mileage on it because we do want to keep it as fresh and original as possible well, we'll get off the bike now and i'll just show you the uh, electrics and all working on the bike so first we'll do the indicators left hand side indicator is perfect right hand side indicator is perfect uh, lights then you see the low beam and high beam working anything else on the dash that i can go over starter uh, choke horn horn working as well ticking over very nicely as well I'll just get the phone out to get a picture for the thumbnail of the video uh, let me just get this here there we are really stunning bike and a very desirable bike of that i mean the money we're going to be asking is going to be quite high but i mean uh, to find another one like this anywhere in the world we do have quite a large audience now through youtube and facebook which we do sell not just only in ireland but outside england being a predominant one which is unfortunately probably going to go away come the new year but uh, also australia and germany are also quite uh, popular buyers for our bikes well that's been it that's been the klr 650 if you have enjoyed the video please do leave it a like also if you could comment down below on your thoughts of the klr 650 uh, that would be great as well as subscribing we're nearly at uh, 3,000 subscribers so if you could subscribe that would be greatly appreciated as well as that uh, if you do want to reach out to us on our socials they are at retro bikes dublin instagram and facebook our official uh, website is www.retrobikesdublin.com that's been it for the KLR 650. 650. Thanks for watching.